If it helps our bowels, it'll help the dog's bowels. This is incredible dinner talk, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Candace from the Edgy Veg, and I'm so excited. My friend Abby Sharp from Abby's Kitchen is here to cook Hi. with us today. Super excited. And today we are making two easy vegan soup recipes. We are making the pumpkin sage soup from my new cookbook. And this is like the top 10 cookbooks of 2017. I will say I'm quite proud of it. You should be, it's amazing. <laughs> so if you haven't bought the cookbook, go out and buy it. It's like a little uh, sneak peek. You get to try before you buy with the soup. I love soup. that. Isn't we that all great? love that. Samples. Who doesn't love samples? Everybody love samples. And after you've watched this video, head over to Abby's channel where we make a second vegan soup. We're making roasted cauliflower and chickpea it's soup. It's so good. Really good. So go watch that video. Well, when you're done this, because you don't want to miss this one. No. All right, let's just start let's cooking. Enough talking. Yeah. Enough silliness. Let's cook. Serious business. I love this recipe because it's all one pot and one blender. And love that's it. it. Yeah. And you know, stirring things. And, and it's delicious. It yes, and of course that. So the oil that we are using is coconut oil. It's one of my favorite oils to cook with. Just tossing that in there. And then Abby, if you want to add the yes. onions in there, we'll start with that. Every good mm. recipe starts with onions and it's garlic. It's true, it's true. Could you toss the garlic in there? Yes. So we have four cloves of garlic and we are going to let that cook for about three to five minutes until it's nice and translucent. Soup making in general is just it's like so aromatic, it like the whole yeah. house smells great. And it's so easy as well. Totally. It's just one of my favorite things about we cooking is easy. when it's easy. Because we are both busy and you're crazy busy with this like cookbook tour and things like yes. that. So we eat a lot of soup in yeah. our house this, these days. Yeah. I make a big batch of soup every single week and that way I have something to like basically get me through the week yeah. for lunches and things like that. And this is the perfect soup for that type of thing totally. as well. Let's throw some spices in there. So right. we have some coriander seed, we have ground up sage, and then we have chili powder. Little this adds kick. just a little, little kick. And then just cook that up until it is fragrant, which it's starting oh, it's to be now. It already smells so good. Yeah, Those coriander seeds right? smell insanely good. And you can use whole seeds or ground, but we're throwing everything in the blender, so we just used whole totally. seeds. Totally. Plus, I find that it doesn't compromise the flavor as much. I agree. I agree. Ground. So. Yeah, I think whenever you have the op opportunity to get your spices whole, because they'll stay fresh longer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, nice. let's toss our potatoes in there. Some celery. Celery. Some carrots. Right. And this is the perfect type of soup too. If you just have some random extra veg lying around in your fridge, throw it in a soup. Doesn't even matter because the pumpkin is so vibrant, the color, it, exactly. it'll overtake anything Yeah, else. and the flavor. Okay, so we're just going to let that mm. cook up a little bit until the potatoes kind of stick to the bottom. Oh, I like that technique. Roast a little bit. Now, you can use like store-bought broth, homemade broth, but I'm all about easy. I love bouillon cubes. Yeah, it's so simple just to keep them in your pantry. Because exactly. they don't take a whole lot of room. Too. No, and you don't have to go out, buy the heavy broth, and yep. lug it home. So yep. I just love having bouillon cubes, especially since I make so many soups on the fly. We're going to toss that right in here with our water. So it's about two bouillon cubes for every two cups of water. Ooh, oh, it's quiet now all of a sudden. Now it's quiet on the set. And that was creepy. That was really creepy. It <laughs> was guys. beautiful. <laughs> you come over and serenade me every Serenity time I cook dinner. Soup making, yes. Soup oh, making. Just keep it coming. <laughs> keep going. Now we can toss in the rest of the ingredients. We have some lemon juice and some pumpkin. And you can use fresh roasted pumpkin or just canned pumpkin puree. Do not accidentally get pumpkin pie. Oh gosh, feeling. that has I've happened that. so many times. Yep. You have to throw that out. Yep. Even my dogs would need that. And I hear your dogs are have quite the sweet tooth. They do love pumpkin, but I think there's two too much sugar in the pumpkin pie filling for sure. For Pumpkin's really good for dogs. I was just reading about that. Helps with constipation. Oh, I was going to say it's great for their coat and great for their eyes, but that yes, too. constipation is also a very important thing to take care for of. For sure. And this makes a hearty bowl oh, yes. of soup. Look at this. So we are going to let that come to a boil and then simmer it for about 20 minutes or so until your potatoes are soft and then we'll throw it into the blender. Awesome, can't wait. I thought we could do a fun garnish for this soup. Yes. Because it's pumpkin sage soup, I thought we could fry up some sage leaves, mm. which kind of gives it that like haute cuisine, Ooh, haute cuisine. feel. So we're just gonna heat up some coconut oil. I mean, that's a lot, but that's fine. We love coconut we oil. We love coconut oil. Right? And then really we just throw the sage leaves in there. I love that because they get nice and crispy and caramelized yes. and you get a little textural contrast mm -hmm. on your soup. And any leftover oil that's in the pan, just put it into the soup. That's a great right? little tip Never right there. Never waste 
good, delicious infused Never. oil. Never. All right, Abby, do you want to toss those leaves in there? This is the perfect thing to do while you're waiting for your soup to simmer. Totally. And really, it only takes about 30 seconds to a minute for them to crisp up. They burn very easily. Yes. Be careful. Keep your eyes on the prize. It smells amazing. Mm. Sage, to me, is such a beautiful winter smell. It just yeah. automatically has so many great memories associated with oh, it. Oh, absolutely. They're frying up. Frying up. They're like bubbling. They're like doing a little like frying dance. Like twerking. Twerking He's in twerking. the pan. twerking. Yes. The sage twerk. Hashtag sage twerk. You are a brave girl. Put your fingers I, right I was in just going, don't do this with your don't hands do this, like guys. I do. I like to break all the rules. I know. All right, those are getting crispy. Do we have something to move that around with? Just our fingers. Just our fingers. So you want them crispy, but not burned, which really is just a rule for cooking, I think. That's true. Crispy, but redundant. I love the texture of sage leaves. I find they're kind of like little lamb's ears. Like oh, they're so soft yes. and sweet. You can just top this into any recipe, oh, really. Yeah. Like this is really good in like vegan mac and cheese oh. or normal mac and cheese if you're yes. not vegan like me. Or like a nice like roasted vegetable, some like roasted Brussels sprouts and like sweet potatoes or things like that. Are we planning our next dinner party? We're planning dinner parties right here. All right, let's take these guys off and okay. get back to our soup. All right, so our soup has been simmering. It smells amazing. There's a couple ways that you can do this. There's uh, the haphazard way, which is to pour it directly into the thing. But you know, we're professionals yes. here, and so we're not going to do that. We're gonna use a ladle. Safe fruit. Be very safe. And depending on how large your blender is, you might have to do this in uh, patches. Yeah, patches. That's the word I'm looking for. It's best not to overcrowd because then it doesn't get as like smooth. Exactly. And... So we will have to do this in two batches. No big deal. This is two. <laughs> two All hands right. for two batches. Start blending. Leave a little bit of venting so yeah. it doesn't explode. Let's get her party. And then sometimes you have to go in there. And you gotta give a little bit of a stir. Mm. That's good enough. That's great. All right. And you can just pour this into like a second pot or I mean directly into the bowl. Yeah, if let's you just throw it into right into the bowl. All right. I think it's enough for two of us. I mean, how hungry are you? Uh don't underestimate me. <laughs> this is pretty straightforward. Pour totally. it into a bowl. And then I'm It's going a very to complicated put, yes, technique here. This, I mean, you really have to be a Sealed. trained chef to do oh, this. Yes. And then we will garnish it with our sage. Mm. Oh, and the colors are so, so complimentary pretty. and beautiful. All right, let's dig in. Let's get in there. And you can salt and pepper this to taste. I find that everybody likes a different amount of salt and a different amount of pepper. Mm. Mm. I love pumpkin. It's got like this really yummy kick at the end. It's yes, so good. Yes, that's the chili powder, and you can mm. add more or less to taste. And I'm gonna get a little sage leaf in there. Oh yeah, add a little mm. bit of crisp. Yes. Mm. All right, guys, there you have it. A easy pumpkin recipe to warm you guys up. Mm. And if you are somewhere warm, well, make something else. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> make sure that you check out Abby's channel for her delicious soup. It was so tasty, you guys have to make it. And if you like this recipe, give it a big huge thumbs up and do take the time to subscribe. It's just right down there, Easy. like the button. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.